Hello everybody, this is Kurt Hollowell with another tutorial on our Audio Visualizer tool. Today I want to be talking about the object scale waveform and an object position waveform. Uh, so if you want to follow along, you can go to the, and you have the tool, go to the Audio, audio Visualizer file, Scenes, and this is the Disco Ball scene. So open that up and you'll see something like this. I'll go ahead and hit play real quick. So there's a couple effects going on in the scene, but today I want to talk specifically about um, these guys on the side which are being scaled up and down with the music, as well as um, this sphere. You can see the sphere has objects in the middle being scaled, and it has objects around the outside being positioned with the music. So let's go ahead and look at that. Let's go into our scene view. Let's just click at the very top object scale waveform, blue cubes. Um, so you can see it has an object scale waveform script attached, and here's all the cubes. So these cubes I just placed uh, evenly apart from each other, and then um, hook them in right here to the object scale waveform. Um, first thing on this is uh, the audio source parameter. That's saying uh, in our audio sampler, we want to listen to the first audio source, which is just this first one, playing this Family Feud song. And uh, we have a few other parameters here, like frequency range. What range uh, in the music do we want to listen to? In this case, I've just chosen decibel. We also have a sensitivity parameter. That's saying, um, it's basically a multiplier onto the audio for its scale. So if we increase this sensitivity parameter, it'll scale these objects up and down a lot. Or uh, if this is a small parameter, then they'll just be small differences. We also have a scale axis. Um, so right now, it's um, scaling them on their local y-axis. If we change this to, let's say, uh, x, then um, let's click on this cube object, then looks like it will get scaled, I think I have this, there you go, around its local x-axis so it'll be scaled right. Or maybe let's choose, um, let's choose z. So we should see all these objects being scaled in this direction. So there you go, you can adjust that. Um, we also have a few other parameters like max height and lerp speed. That's saying what's the max height we want to scale to and um, lerp speed, that's basically using a um, vector 3 dot lerp, uh, which you can look at from the Unity um, Unity's uh, script reference. Basically it's how fast do we want to change between our current scale and our desired scale. And then finally there's an absolute value parameter uh, this is turned on. If I turn this off, we'll get negative values as well. So you can see some objects are being scaled down and some are being scaled up. So that's what the object scale waveform does. It takes objects in your, in your scene. Normally you line them up in some way. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, scales them up and down with the music. Finally, I want to talk about the object position waveform really quick. To that, we're going to go under Disco Ball, and we have Scale Objects and Position Objects. Um, basically, this has two scripts. It has an Object Sphere script, which basically places all of these objects initially in the um, Awake method, in the Awake yeah, method call, uh, in a sphere with a radius of 10. So that'll initially put them in a sphere, and then we have our Object Position Waveform, which will move them up and down um, to the music, or in this case, along their z-axis. I think once these objects all get positioned in the sphere, um, they all are facing looking at the center of the sphere, so we're going to move them up and down towards their local z, which will be facing the sphere. So um, let's just go and hit play, go into the scene view. Here they are, here's all these cubes being moved up and down with the music. They all have trail renderers attached to them, so you can kind of see the path they're taking up and down. Um, you can see there are all these, there's 40 objects, they're all hooked in just publicly right here. If we adjust this sensitivity, we should see some um, 
different behavior here. Um, we can adjust the max height if we want them to be moving just small movements or maybe we want really big movements. And then absolute value if we want negative values to be allowed. Or if you set absolute value to true, it's only positive values. So that's it. That's the object scale waveform and the object position waveform. Basically moving, moving objects up and down or scaling objects up and down um, with the music. Finally, I'd just like to end by going to our website, doggydoggames.com. You can check out our other games or tools here as well as um, get support. And finally, here's the uh, audio visualizer tool that we were talking about today on the Unity Assets Store. All right, I hope that helps, and I hope you make some cool stuff. Catch you later.